So there's these, uh, there's these videos recently, um, Veritasium on YouTube, uh, about Blackbird, which is a wind-powered car that travels downwind faster than the wind. Um, and it's great because, you know, it generates a lot of discussion by a, very, uh, a lot of very smart people. And, uh, you know, this kind of conundrum of, like, if you're powered by the wind, how can you go faster? How can your velocity be faster than the thing that's pushing you? And, you know, the thing is, a lot of these scientists and physicists, they get hung up on the, the laws of thermodynamics. And specifically, the first law of thermodynamics, which is, you know, the energy of the system remains constant, can't destroy or create energy, uh, yada, yada. But the, but wind, wind power, wind is the second law of thermodynamics, not the first. And what I mean, what I mean by that, right? Uh, what does that have to do with en entropy increasing? Well, like, if you ever watch the, the Weather Channel, you know, they're always like, oh, there's an area of high pressure over the region over here and there's low pressure over here, and it's causing wind, right? High pressure, low pressure causes wind. It's pretty simple, right? You know, um, that's entropy increasing, right? You have a, a more ordered system, like on a molecular level, of high pressure plus low pressure, and they want to equalize. And so you have a distribution of that randomness and that energy uh, across the system so that things equalize. Same thing with like, you know, diffusion and collapse of neutron stars and all that sort of stuff, right? It's, it's entropy increasing, right? And that in of itself is enough to explain why it's possible for things to travel faster velocity than the things that are pushing them, right? And you can, you can demonstrate that with just, you know, a simple syringe, right? So let's say this is my system, right? If I, if I plug the end of the syringe here and I squeeze it, well, I, I've, I've decreased the entropy in this system. You know, I've, I've put that air inside the tube under higher pressure. It's increased in temperature uh, and the, and the air behind the plunger is lower pressure. So if I let go, it's going to push back to equalize that and increase the entropy, right? Took about a second. Um, and the thing is, well, what is wind speed in this system? Well, wind speed is like what the average displacement of all the air molecules over some amount of time. So it took one second, you know, from here, you know, the center of mass of all that air is at five. And then you let go and entropy increased, it spread out, and now the center of mass of all that air is at 10, right? But the thing that it pushed is went from 10 to 20, right? So the velocity of this plunger was twice as much as the average wind speed inside this syringe, downwind, faster than the wind. It's the second law of thermodynamics.